Hey, thank you so much for watching. I'm Pippi Peterson. So painting over wallpaper is totally possible. However, you wanna first make sure that your wall is totally fit to do so. If removing the wallpaper is going to cause damage and you don't have any areas where it's already beginning to peel, then you might wanna use um, the option of painting over the wallpaper. Um, in my case, this paper is so incredibly adhered to the wall that um, there's no way, one, I don't really even know if I could remove it, and then two, it's on like this really thin wood paneling, and I think it could literally just tear the paneling up. So I'm gonna paint over my wallpaper. Before you get started, make sure your walls are clean by washing them and removing any decorations. Then you can sand down any seams or imperfections so that you don't have any lumps or bumps showing when it's all painted. And now you're ready to start taping the edges for the application of the primer and the paint. Whenever you're gonna paint over wallpaper, you always wanna use an oil-based primer. This is opposed to a water-based primer. The oil-based primer, the oil in it will actually seal in the adhesive that uh, is in the wallpaper. Um, therefore sticking it much stronger to the wall. Whereas if you use a water-based primer or you don't use a primer and you just use water-based paint, that moisture in there can possibly loosen the adhesive, um, causing sagging, uh, and then even like the extra weight of it can weigh it down and it can just like all come unpeeling. So, so always use an oil-based primer. For this project, I'm gonna actually do two coats of the primer just for the double protection, for the extra strength, and also um, for the white coating that will go below the my uh, light paint that I've got going on top. Be sure to, uh, while you're working, to uh, continue to stir your your primer. Especially the oil-based ones, they separate, and um, while you're working, they'll they'll be separating, even if you don't totally see it. So it's good to give your primer a stir every once in a while. Now I've got two coats of primer on the walls. They've sat for hours to dry and cure a little bit. And I'm ready for the most exciting part, which is putting the color on the wall. And depending on the coating, I may or may not use two coats. It just depends on if I can see um, any bits of the wallpaper through. Um, because it did have a teeny little pattern, but right now it's mostly, it looks really covered up from the primer. So that's a good thing. So, exciting part! So after a couple coats of paint, I am ready to enjoy my new walls. Once they dry, I'm gonna take off the tape and then they are ready to go. And if you're like me, it's on to the next step of the renovation.